Welcome to Dark Days of Helsinki 2017. This time we have some Finnish curiosity amputory, which is, what you're gonna guess, death metal. So, we have two guys from this uh, great band. Please tell to the camera, who are you? I'm Henkka and I'm the vocalist. I'm Jaakko and I'm the drummer. So, uh, this lineup has changed a bit since you started uh, a few years ago. What can you tell about these new winds blowing in your camp? Uh, well, we started in 2009, if I'm not... If I do, yeah, yeah, 2009. Uh, after that we had two vocalists before Hank came into the picture two years ago. Two years ago, and yeah, yeah, we made our first full-length album with uh, another vocalist called Jarno Kokkonen, and after that uh, we ran into some trouble, and uh, now Hank is here filling his shoes. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So Henka, how do you feel being uh, filling, you know, the shoes and you know taking the show over and all that mm. stuff? How does it feel? Uh, well, I know I have the big shoes. I have, big man also. Yeah, also, yeah. So that's that's for me. That's for good. That's good for me. So, but well, I have big shoes to fill, and uh, I I think that um, well, there's still something something to progress before I'm done. But I feel good. The band is great, and the show tonight, well, it was awesome. Awesome band with an awesome uh, cast of members, and now we have some gone buyers also. So. To put it brief, what is Amputory all about besides being death metal? Well, sickness, darkness, you know, the usual stuff. Death metal as it should be in our view. You know, there's a lot of technical death metal bands, so whatever these days, we're not so much into the technical aspects of things. We're more into the, you know, in your face and fist in the ass kind of stuff, you know, just basic old school death metal. Basic old school death metal right up into the ass. What makes you the inspiration to give lyrics? Uh, well, uh, reality mostly. I know it's a cliche to say, but mostly it's, it's it's just reality, which makes me write the lyrics about uh, <coughs> death and mutilation and all this fun stuff. You get to often to do mutilation and stuff? Uh, no, <laughs> but I often see dreams about them. <laughs> and also, well, also I'm a horror fan, so that helps a lot. So, what what do you think is the essence of death metal, all in all? The essence of death metal, I think, is uh, basically the full-blown darkness. The full-blown darkness is basically, and of, of course, the brutality of it all. This is an often asked question, but I'm going to ask it again. Mm -hmm. ask it again, 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 again. Um, what is so tempting in darkness, horror, death, and all that grimness that surrounds in these themes and life why not enjoy about positive sides and uh, nice stuff uh, well of course in real life it's, it's different but um i don't know it's it's something that's just I, I think it springs from the childhood straight from it everything you watch then or the horror movies and all that stuff and it, it just keeps running in your head and you want to uh, you know um, express yourself and express Press it like um, in therapy kind of mode, so it's a therapy kind of all the darkness. And so, how is your music? How it does start? Who, who wants to answer? Uh, what do you mean? Like, how did the band start? I mean, I mean, like how the songs get composed and the riffs. Oh made, how yeah, well, Saku Manninen, and our guitar player, pretty much does all the riffs. Uh, every now and then, someone throws in an idea or two, but mostly it's his handwriting and. Um, I don't know, it's just going to the practice place and he jams out a few riffs and and we just take it from there. I, we don't really have a grand plan or anything like that. We just, you know, jam out and see what comes out. And so far it has worked out pretty well. Are you the type of band that actually rehearses together versus those bands that, you know, send uh, sound clips and, you know, make it makes it all ready before going to the studio? No, we don't really send any sound clips or anything like that. We, well, basically, we have a 
uh, practice once a week, or at least we should should have. But uh, that's uh, well, we 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 all, all live pretty close by, so there's no need for you know file sending and stuff like that. So we can like, actually meet up and make the music at the spot, so we don't have to fuck around with you know MP3 files and stuff like that. It's all done in the same spot and in the same space, which everyone everyone involved in the process pretty much. So one could say uh, we do it the old school way. We actually meet up and listen to each other and make the songs there on the spot like Jaakko said. Are you also friends, not just band members or how this all goes? We are all, all friends together. All, all together. <laughs> but yeah. So uh, Finland is a very small country when it comes to population and there are lots of same people mm. going back and forth in the in the different bands mm. despite the cities and you know distance between them do you think this is a good thing in all, in order to find uh, good bands and band members or do you think it's a curse mm, i don't know i don't know uh, i i think if 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 band members are all around the finland like one of my bands has members all around so uh, it's just it's just different ways. Of course, it's easier when we meet up every week and we we listen to each other and make the songs on the spot. It's all much easier, and also I, I think it's something to do with dynamics. Also, what do you think? Yeah, pretty much. I think well, obviously, all members in this band also have other bands except for Ante, I think, but. Uh, I don't think it's a problem. It's the same thing everywhere. You, if you look at like American bands or UK bands or Swedish bands or whatever, they tend to circulate the same members around with uh, different projects and stuff like that. I don't think it really has anything to do with Finland per se. And it's just a thing when you're in a tight knit underground scene, you tend to get the same people over and over again that are interested in the scene. It's not a mystery in that sense. I think it's pretty natural that it goes like that i don't know some, someone might think differently but i i think it's just, you know it's a di dynamics if you if you got to, I, don't, I don't fuck i don't know how many death metal musicians there are in finland let's say fucking 150 or something and if it, if, if some people tend to gravitate towards each other and find a common ground and make some kind of connection that's that's okay by me. I, I, I don't see the problem with, with uh, like multiple bands featuring the same members. I, I, I don't think it's a curse. It's fine. We could say that, at least claim that death metal has uh, had sort of a new wave of coming back. I mean, like versus the let's say 10, 15 years ago when 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 all those kind of old bands were going on hiatus and black metal was pushing, but now death metal is, is again making its way. Do you think this is a good or a bad way in order to, you know, stand out from the crowd? Well, I think it's good, especially as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of like technical death metal bands and uh, like in instrumental porn, you know, in a way these days. But uh, I've seen like uh, old school death metal making a comeback, like really br brutal, straight to the point kind of stuff. And I, I think it's a great thing because, uh, well, obviously I, I'm a huge black metal fan myself, but the black metal kind of died out somewhere in, in like the 2000s. It's kind of w watered down, and uh, most of the good bands back then turned shit pretty much. But, but but yeah, I think it's a good thing that the death metal is making a comeback now, and uh, and they've, and people are dropping that whole technical blah 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 aspect of it. They're just go, going for the throat now, and uh, I think it's a good thing. What about politics and all the stuff that is surrounding more and more in metal? There is, uh, you know, right wing, left wing happenings. There is. Uh, these kind of political labels, boxing, uh, religious element, or really irreligious elements. Where do you stand, and where do you don't want to stand in this? Well, each to its own, I think. Each to its own. We don't have a political stand, or we don't have any any um, saying about how the world works. And we want to say to you that you have to live a different lifestyle or some shit like that. We just enjoy playing old school death metal and making it in the way in 
of of the old school when with the, all the horror and all all the stuff that made made us love death metal in the first place when we were kids so this brings me to the next question when you mentioned you also love black metal and now it was mentioned that it, you, you want to stay away from all the political stuff there was also this claim and now i'm going back to like mid 90s like no fun no mush and all that stuff how does that fit in in the death metal sense because back then it was seen as a it's all fun because it's not not ideological what do you think Well, I think most people tend to forget that uh, well, the Norwegian scene that pretty much coined the whole of no fun, no much thing. Those guys were barely in their twenties when they were saying that stuff. So obviously, people grow up and mature a bit, and uh, I don't know. Fuck, sometimes you know, I don't want to have fun. I don't want to mosh. I'm not that kind of guy, guy you know, but. If someone wants to have fun and mosh at our gigs, I don't have anything against it. Just knock yourself out. So, what kind of uh, songs or bands or styles are you inspired these days when you make new music? Uh, well, I don't think we have a like, like ba- bands that stri- straight up in- influence us that much. But uh, well, the whole old Finnish death metal scenes. With stuff like carnivals, demilich, dem god, what have you, and obviously the Swedish stuff, old entombed, dismember, all that, and uh, obviously the like UK bands, American bands, aut- autopsy, cannibal gobs, death, uh, massacre, and uh, ball thrower, cargas. Well, Napalm Death to a certain degree as well, although we're, we're not crying core by any stretch, but still, yeah, but them classics pretty much. Now we have rock falling, so this is getting dangerous slowly. <laughs> so, uh, towards end we are going, you mentioned you are inspired a lot of horror <coughs> movies and reality. Mm. Give us like your top three stuff, be it reality, real events or horror movies or whatever you suggest to people who like in your music? Mm, well, there's so lot of them, but Brain Dead, absolutely. Brain Dead, watch it if you haven't. It's awesome. It's old school, you know it. Old school splatter stuff from Peter Jackson, who's now coined from the old ring stuff and all that shit, but yeah, absolutely. Brain Dead, then from the newer stuff, I love Conjuring movies. I know it's a Well, it's a taste thing, but I love conjuring. And of course, well, if you have want to have fun, have a few beers, Friday the thirteenth, all of them, all the old ones. So as you can see, Jason is the shit. Now, uh last question is if you had to name one song, just one song from your uh, all uh discography mm-hmm. to check it out first, you know, in order to check out can I like this band, what would it be? Uh, I would probably say Agori because, well, it's a slower song. Most of our songs are more up tempo, but I would say Agori. It's kind of describes pretty well what we're all about. Yeah, I conclude that Agori. So this is a fully agreeable band. I have nothing else to ask except listen to the fucking band, check out their page, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. You know what to do. And now, stay fucking death metal. This is Dark Days of Helsinki 2017. We are going away to die. <laughs> no laughing matter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>